Waco police say they have found the ATM stolen in this morning's bizarre bank robbery. It was located near the Gateway and Texas Central Parkway in a wooded area. Fox 44's Renee Summer Hours. She's live in the newsroom with more on where the damaged ATM was found. Hey, Renee. Yeah, Adam, according to Waco PD, the ATM was transported by a stolen U-Haul truck and then taken deep in a wooded area in Waco. Police say the thieves then used a backhoe to pry open the ATM and steal what was inside. We didn't drive far enough in. But Waco PD did. Wednesday afternoon, Waco crime scene investigators found the damaged ATM in a heavily wooded area in Waco. And they may have been gone by the time we heard about it and got over there. Woodway Police Detective Andrew McGee says Waco police will now take over the ATM part of the investigation. We will work close with Waco PD to figure out exactly what happened and try to try to develop some suspects. Woodway police say the ATM was stolen this morning around 4 a.m. from the First National Bank. The forklift stolen from the Alliance Bank construction site next door. I know that there's been some surveillance footage pulled. Um, we don't have a count on individuals or descriptions of them. They say a U-Haul van was stolen from the U-Haul lot at Valley and Waco Drive prior to the ATM theft to transport the machine to the woods, where a backhoe used by the city of Waco was used to pry the ATM open. What's going to take place from here? It's going to be a long investigation to figure out what happened. ATM. It was actually a city employee. They were searching for that backhoe when they mysteriously found this ATM just sitting right there. Now, we did reach out to the city of Waco, and of course, we reached out to First National Bank, but we got no comment. Live in the newsroom, Renee Summerhour, Fox 44 News.